Hello, my name is Will and I'd like to welcome you to this podcast detailing how to play the basics of Nicholas Emmerich, the Inquisitor Chapter 4, The Demon. I'm not going to bore you with the history of these titles because you can quite freely at the present moment in time uh, for about up to two to four weeks I believe after the game is released at the end of September uh, download chapters one to three for free. So uh, they're actually available for the Mac and PC for free, which uh, will give you a great insight into how the characters evolve and how the game is played. So you might be thinking, well, okay, chapter four, it's going to be easy. It's a case of saying go to, talk to, examine, use, etc. That is not the case. The Inquisitor chapter four, The Demon, is marketed as an RPG roguelike title. Now, if you're not familiar with Rogue, the idea of a Rogue title, or similar, is to explore a map and or a dungeon, um, take part in battles, talk to people, and gather items. Now, with gathering items, I don't know how useful that is in the Inquisitor. I have to be totally honest with you here, because I can't use the inventory. It just scrolls through it and reads all the items. So, maybe... There will be some use for it that I don't know of yet. But as of the moment that I record this, in the middle of September, there is no uh, defined use for our inventory. So uh, unlike the previous three Inquisitors, uh, that is to say um, uh, the Plague, the Village and Sisters in Dream, there is no use for an inventory, unlike in those where you pick up something and use it with something else that you're carrying. So I'm very interested to see how that evolves, and that is a positive comment to the developers, because I'm interested to see why do we actually have an inventory. So I'm very curious, and no, I haven't completed the game, just want to make a disclaimer. Uh, the company have provided me with the full copy of the game. Now the game does have a demo at the moment, which I believe will still be available for a while, I'm not going to play much because I'm not sure where the demo ends and the uh, the full version carries on, if you get what I mean. So I've been asked to play up until I get to the church. And when I get to the church, I have to stop. I haven't actually played the game much because I have a full-time career, so I've been working. But I'm now going to uh, illustrate for you the basics of the Inquisitor. Now I first want to give my impressions, and of course these aren't meant to be negative, it's just my thoughts. Now when you walk, you hear clicks from the left, the middle and the right. These clicks indicate when the character is touching a wall. Now, I don't know whether each click indicates a passage or an obstacle is around, but to turn to it, you press the left or right arrow. So if you hear a click on your left, and as you walk, you hear on your left are stairs, left arrow will turn you left, and then the stairs, are, for example, are in front of you or the door. So I don't quite know how the clicks actually work, I've got to be honest, but each time you take a step, you hear the clicks. Okay, left, middle, right, okay? That was my tongue clicking to illustrate how that would work. From the left, middle, right. So that's how they come across. Sort of thing. So I'm interested to see how they actually progress in bigger maps. Now I've been told the maps are very big, and... Uh, you can explore the remotest corners of the maps and there are areas such as crypts, the monastery which should be quite big I think and a cave and things like that. So I really am looking forward to, uh, to actually delving myself into this title in due course. However, for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to do the following. I'm going to load the game, I'm going to let it play the tutorials okay, so we can hear how the game actually works, okay, which you can do yourself. This isn't giving away any uh, top spoiler secret information. And then I'm going to play the game and start a new title. Now, the way it works is like this. Just to explain briefly before the tutorial does. Up arrow moves you forward, down arrow moves you backward, and left and right turn you north, east, south, west. Okay? That's all you need to know. So you don't have to turn north, east, or south, east, or 45 degrees, or 180 degrees. You just turn in those four, in those four directions, okay? And the tab key indicates what direction you're facing in. Space bar is your let's interact key, shall we say. And uh, basically the game is auto-saved, it seems, when you go to a new passage, or map, as the game seems to call it. This might be a new floor of somewhere, or a new building. 
So without further ado, I've talked too much, I always do. I don't have an off button, I'm afraid. I am going to use my Mac and voice over at the minute. Finder. Finder. Okay, and I'm now in my app store, in my app audio hijack. Area, or will be. Applications. Yeah, I'm going to hijack to record this, so I'm going to go. App store, image. Uh, app store. E for Eldimon. Emerich Eldimon underscore 1.03 underscore Mac. Application. Voice over off. Now it's called Eldimon, but um, it's the demon. Nicholas Eimerick. Il demone. I'll change that to the demon on launch. Main menu. Play. Now we have new voices for Chachincho Carona and Nicholas Eimerick. So play is our first item on the down arrow. Tutorial. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to press enter on tutorial. No, not enter, sorry, I've got that wrong already. Spacebar. Basic tutorial. I'm then going to press spacebar and let the game explain itself, okay? Nicholas Aymeric the Demon, how to play. Welcome to the Aymeric video game, The Demon. This accessible guide will help you understand how to move around in this role-playing adventure game. The game is divided into three main phases, exploration, dialogue and battle. Everything works in well-identified turns, so do not rush and think well about the action you are about to take. The entire game can be controlled mainly with the arrow keys to move and the space button to select or interact. The Alt key will activate the radar function from targets nearby and control to inspect the inventory. Repeat this tutorial. Down arrow. Back to tutorial. Spacebar. Basic tutorial. Exploration tutorial. And spacebar. Phase. Exploration in this phase you will be able to freely move on a chessboard. Point of view shot. With long steps always of the same length. In four directions. North. South. West. East. You'll have to sharpen your wits and open your ears to find the right track and memorize the map. Use the up and down direction keys to move forward or backward. Use the left and right keys to turn around. At every step Amorik touches the walls around him always in this order, left, front and right, then you will feel a slight tap for any obstacles that surround you. You will then be able to identify walls or corridors in advance. Use space to interact with the object or character in front of you. Pick up an object or use the passage for the next map. Use Alt to highlight the various objectives in the map. A sound will suggest you the direction of the next recommended stage, but will still need your wits to figure out what to do. Press Tab to indicate current cardinal direction. To open the game menu press ESC. To get more information, scroll through the objects in your inventory, or just return to the main menu. Repeat this tutorial. Back to tutorial. Basic tutorial. Exploration tutorial. Dialogue tutorial. Phase. Dialogues and minigames. When you start talking to a person or solving a riddle, the Inquisitor will stop and you will be presented with different options. The dialogue will evolve following your choices. Use the up and down keys to scroll through the options, and use space to select or skip the current phrase. Repeat this tutorial. Back to tutorial. Basic to explore dialogue battle tutorial phase battle when the word is not enough you have to switch to the strong manners Each character has two main statistics health points and faith points The health points determine the strength of your physical attacks and your physical health going to zero will mean the premature end of the inquisitor Faith points determine your spiritual strength and therefore the strength of your special attacks as well as your ability to believe in your actions those who have little faith can be paralyzed by fear or take rash actions. The actions you can perform during the fight will be 1. Physical attack. You must quickly press the action button to charge the attack as much as you can. 2. Faith attack. You will have to press a sequence of directional keys following the voice instructions. 3. Guard. You must press the action button at the moment of the most intense sound to maximize the party. Remember. Faith needs concentration. Therefore the physical attack negatively affects the faith. Faith overcomes the guard but the guard contrasts the physical. Use the up and down keys to scroll through the options, and use space to select or interact with the minigam. Repeat this tutorial. Back to tutorial. Basic tutorial. Main menu. Main menu. Play. So there's two modes we can play. We can play story mode, which is meant to be 12 hours of gameplay. Obviously that depends, I guess, on uh, um, how 
how quick uh, you can actually get through the game. Or endless mode or infinite mode, which will be an endless random selection, I guess, of the maps and uh, demons to vanquish, which we can't play at the moment. So I'm going to down our own. Tutorial. Not that I'm this recording anyway. Play. So play was my first item, I do apologise. I'm going to press spacebar. Play menu. Choose new game. Now as you move, the game also saves as you are here, so I'm going to press spacebar. There are options as well to turn off graphics and change your language to Italian. Uh, I'm going to press spacebar. Do you want to start a new game? Confirm. Now it's not clear exactly where we are at the moment, I've got to be honest. I was pretty thrown. Uh, I thought chapter 3, for those who haven't played it, it's not spoiling it, it just ends outside the monastery, which is your ultimate location. So I don't quite understand why we've ended up uh, back here at the Aurora Inn. Uh, I know I'm in the inn because you'll see in a moment that's where we end up, but for now, I'm going to use the radar with the command key, which is the alt key on Windows. So I'll turn to the right, and I've only done that, now that left and right click there, this one, Indicate a left and right passage. But I'm going to go forward. Night has fallen on Kokares, with its shadows and its demons. It's time. But perhaps I should first review my notes and analyze all the events that have led me here. See notes for a summary of the story so far. Now there are a lot of notes, okay? I'm not going to read the notes, okay? They summarise the plague, the village, and Sisters in Dream. No need. I already know everything. Excellent. I'll find Father Corona downstairs. Let's go meet him, and then set off. And now I'm going to wear uh, Opara. At your left, hook. So now I'm going to turn left to the book. In front of you there is, hook. Yeah, Press was, space to interact. Now that was in the left hand click the sound. That was in the left hand passage run. Press space bar to pick up the book. You found an alchemical manual. A dangerous text in the wrong hands. You found the hook that I extracted from the wall. So I'll press the command key, the alt key. To find out where my next passage was from the roof indication. In front of do. you there is door. I'll walk up to press space bar. Now that's opened my door, okay? An obstacle. At your right, door. Now that was the door that was just coming, okay? Because you got to remember when you turn round, you can go in a circle. An obstacle. An obstacle ahead of me there. So I've turned back left, I've got a left and right passage. Nothing in front. Oh, the stairs when I'm in front. That's your right stairs. So that radar, that ooh, that played on its own. So I go to the right with right arrow. In front of you there is stairs. And I up arrow with stairs. A passage. Press to change map. Loading map. Game saved. I am inside the Inn Aurora. Now, first impressions there. Very different way of navigation. Uh, it's not a game. It is free movement, but it's not very clear how you use the passageways when they click. But because I know the map, I'm going to just walk through it because I've memorized it, or hopefully I have, uh, to know what to show you. But I've got a lot of learning to do myself. This isn't a lie. I've got a lot of learning to do. Uh, it's the first time I've seen this game a couple of days ago, so I have to be honest. Because I work full time, I've not had a chance to really delve into this. However, let's continue. The Tavern in the Inn. A stinking pigsty only suitable for outcasts and drunkards. The innkeeper sent away the last patrons just after nightfall. Fortunately, he forgot to put out the fire, which is the only source of light. Okay, so... The fire is available in this area. Now we have to find it. So, okay, 
progress straight ahead is our next stage, and we can't use that all the time reliably with the alt key. It's like the divine help if you've played the other three, I believe. Now I ignore the clicks sometimes, but it might be useful to explore them. An obstacle. Now it wasn't clear when I heard that click, because I don't feel a tap as to what's ahead of me. It didn't go oof, nothing like that. So I didn't know what was ahead of me there, so I've gone back to the left, and I know there's nothing in front. If I turn left, we left that, right? I've got to assume that when you hear a click in front, it's an obstacle. So I'm going to turn right again, click on left and click on right and go forward. In front of you there is Corona. Press space to interact. So I'm going to press space bar to find Corona. Jaquinto, I hope you haven't begun drinking again in my absence. Oh no, Magister. Not a drop. I assure you. Good, because we'll need all our wits about us tonight. Come on, it's time to head to the monastery. An obstacle. An obstacle. In front of you there is cupboard. Press space to interact. You found a small mortar, useful for cooks and alchemists. At your left, cupboard. An obstacle. At your left, cupboard. In front of you there is cupboard. An obstacle. An obstacle. At your left, cupboard. In front of you there is cupboard. An obstacle. An obstacle. At your left, cupboard. So it's about knowing where you've been on the map and exploring your surroundings. So I'm going to just keep walking around. In front of you there is stairs. So that's the stairs to the second floor. Okay, I don't need to go there yet, but I need to move where they are. So we're An obstacle. Down a row. No, no need to find the second floor. That's your right cover. Uh, already found it before. That's your right cover. In front of you there, there is, is. cover. Press space. So to interact with this one. You found a candle tallow. An obstacle. Fire, and I'll need to find that now, because that was mentioned. The fire is not completely extinguished. The embers beneath the ashes are still burning. Reignite. So you can hear sounds of objects to aim for as well. Just gotta get used to the clicks. It's a bit strange how they work. I need to get used to it myself. However, let's keep playing. So now we have a mini game, if you like, a mini riddle. So there's a fire. Uh, it's been left burning. What do I do? So, do I reignite? Press spacebar. I'm not cold. Take embers. Then why would you take the embers? Because, uh, they're just not worth taking because I'll say we're stupid. So, a down arrow. Light candle. Press spacebar. It's dark, but I can see well enough. Reignite. Take it. Put candle on the embers. The heat is melting the wax. I salvage the wick. So we've kept the wick, okay? Why? I don't know. So let's go. An obstacle. Down our back on myself, trying to find my way around there. The fire is reignite. Never mind. Perhaps this hearth will come of use later. Again, I've walked in a circle, I've turned around back to the fire. So it's about knowing where you've come from. An obstacle. At your left, cupboard. 
an obstacle. That door was the right I found. At your left, cover. An obstacle. In front of you there is cover. An obstacle. An obstacle. At your left, cover. In front of you there is cover. An obstacle. An obstacle. At your left, cover. At your left, cover. An obstacle. In front of you there is cover. An obstacle. An obstacle. At your right, cover. An obstacle. An obstacle. At your right, cover. At your right, cover. An obstacle. In front of you there is cover. So it's about remembering where you've been, and I've forgotten where I've been. So the clicks do indicate an obstacle. Things. It's just getting around to find the stairs. And that radar that I just pressed the command key. The fire is not reignite. Is Never mind. Perhaps this heart. So where do I go now? An obstacle. In front of you there is door. A passage. Press to change map. Loading. Game saved. I am on the road in front of the inn. So I didn't have to explore the uh, the second floor of the inn. There is a second floor. Uh, I believe there is anyway. Um, and I didn't have to explore it. Uh, there wasn't nothing on the second floor anyway. Unless that was a second floor. I forgot. <laughs> I've had a long day at work, excuse me. But the stairs, uh, I've got if they lead up or down. But there's two floors to the inn. So the first floor you find Kirana and the second floor, sorry, yeah, that's where you do uh, the, um, the fire. So now the game is saved with the door on my left. I've got to go straight ahead now. The inn overlooks the main street of the village. There is a well in the centre. Next to it, there is a cross on top of a column, as is customary in many other villages. The black brushwood that surrounds it is a sinister metaphor for the threat that the church is facing here. Now the church has gone through a lot of paganism and there's demons and heretics of the church and you'll read all about that in the notes. So I'm just going to walk forward. An obstacle. An obstacle. An obstacle. So the clicks don't seem to help me much in this situation, if I'm honest, because every time I turn to the one, there's obstacles. An obstacle. So I'm looking for the well. An obstacle. An obstacle. Doors where it just come from. An obstacle. So you can't confuse that. An obstacle. Nord. An obstacle. That's your right. That right stone door. cross. So there is the stone cross into the path that because I can't actually examine that. Okay? So we'll cut carry on. Walking up alright. An obstacle. At your left, well with rope. Pigs, as you can hear, it's so In front of you there is well with rope. Press space to interact. You found a rope. Worn, but robust enough. At your left, well. 
At your left, well. In front of you there is, well. At your left, well. An obstacle. 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 At your left, well. In front of you there is, well. There's the one in front of me. An up. At your left, well. An obstacle. An obstacle. Well. An, obsta okay. An obstacle. An obstacle. At your right, stone cross. An obstacle. An obstacle. At your Where left, well. well. An obstacle. At your left, well. At your left, well. Okay. At your left, well. An obstacle. At your left, well. In front of you there is, well. An obstacle. At your right, well. An obstacle. The area. At your left. Well. An obstacle. At your left. Well. In front of you there is. Well. When to turn left and when to turn right. Am I looking for the exit? In front of you there is. Exit. There we are. Message. Press to change map. Loading map. Game saved. I am on the road that leads to the church. So I'm going to get to the church and then stop. So I'm going to keep walking. The streets are deserted. The moonlight gives the houses a rather eerie atmosphere. The church's tall bell tower resembles a giant shrouded in darkness. The only other light comes from the peak on which the monastery stands along with a small, flickering light from a house that is remarkably larger than the others. So I've got to that by pressing up arrow. So the cut scenes read automatically. In front of you there is a small wedge. Press space to interact. And a small wedge. An obstacle. An obstacle. An obstacle. It's a step by step game, really. You can't really move too quickly. Because you need to know what's around. It's not clear what's around. So, they say obstacles, but you're not. An obstacle. What is around you any time. God tells me that I shouldn't go this way right now. Okay, so, God has told me I shouldn't go when I turn right there. Let's see what else I can do. An obstacle. An obstacle. You do have to twist left and right quite a bit to find the correct passage. So even though that same thing so it's straight ahead, it may not necessarily be much twist to get an obstacle. An obstacle. 
Gotta get round it. Hold on. At your left, exit. In front of you, there is exit. A passage. Press to change map. So it seems to be that the way this works is so when you get to passages, you're in new areas. I think they're all part of one map. They to connect. So navigation is not too bad on the game. I think uh, it could be improved, but it's a very exploratory type game. It doesn't hold your hand. Although the storyline's linear, uh, I look forward to trying the full game because, uh, in sorry, to trying the full game, continuing and the infinite mode to see what that brings to the table. Loading map. Game saved. I am on the road in front of the inn. In front of you there is well. So I've walked back on myself in a big circle. That's interesting. Um, the exit has took me back to a circle. Let's see if I can get back to where I was originally. One second. At your left, well. At your left, well. Nothing else. At your left, well. At your left, well. In front of you there is, well. So, you can go in circles, and uh, As you your right, lost. well. An obstacle. At your left, well. Let's see if we can get back in this podcast to where I should be. An obstacle. Okay. At your left, well. At your left, well. An obstacle. At your left, well. An obstacle. At your left, well. Nothing else. At your left, well. An obstacle. At your left, well. An obstacle. At your left, well. Walking. An obstacle. I thought that exit was the way to go. I'm not saying it wasn't. You back to At where your I left. Well. Unless, of course, I have to go back on the In front of you, there way. is. Well. Okay. At your right. Well. It's not really in the podcast here because uh, I've. An obstacle. Um, quite a lot of the game. I've found the core mechanics of it. At your left. Well. At your right. Well. An obstacle. I'm going to pause the game, uh, pause my recording, see if I can get back on track to where I should be. Let's see if I can get a bit further and get to the church, as promised. Voice over on Emery Child Demo underscore one. Emery Audio Hijack. Audio Hijack. New blank session copy two. Audio block. Audio. Full audio audio record 33 recording 44 show recording show schedule hide or show lock system audio close minimize full audio audio block record select 33 17 recording 30 record selected so i'll have to uh stop it there by the look of it because i can't seem to pause it on order hijack but although i haven't got to the church as such uh that is a taster of the inquisitor game uh so it's a lot of exploratory sort of navigational elements uh battle i still need to experience battle but uh, it's a game which I feel has a lot of potential. But uh, obviously there are areas for improvement. I think the, the navigation system can be a bit slow. And doesn't give you as uh, a freestyle movement to navigate around as say other audio games where passages are indicated purely by sound and not clicks. But I do think it's worth seeing how this story unfolds. Thank you very much for your attention.